Hi, I just want to share with you a couple ideas about spacing and how you might set up a trellis or just use conduit and not have a trellis system. These trees are fully mature. Some of them are standards and some are semi-dwarfs, but they're all being maintained as dwarf trees on a trellis system. And the reason that's really important is we don't want to have to use ladders. We want to be able to reach everything with a pruner or one of our long handled loppers. We want to be able to do everything from the ground. And whether you're growing our dwarfs or semi-dwarf trees, you'll be able to do that um, either way. So if you take a look, these trees are all in a row. They're about four feet between each tree in a row. And then between the rows, this row, and coming over here, this row, these rows are about 10 to 11 feet apart. And spacing wise, you can see in the row, you don't want to get too close because they need airflow, they need light, they need to be able to take up nutrients. You need to be able to get in there, whether you're harvesting, spraying, pruning, tying the plants. Um, so you don't want to overcrowd them, but four feet is how close you can get. And that's actually really close, but they love it. But between the rows, you need to think about how much space do you want? What are you working with? Here, these are wide enough to be able to get a mower through and just be able to simply maintain it. But if you were growing vegetables through here, or if you were growing perennial flowers through here, you just need to manage that space appropriately. Um, you know, I wouldn't go closer than eight feet because you can see they're starting to grow in. They're not gonna really grow in much more than this, but you don't wanna make it a congested space. So minimum of eight feet and you really can kind of go out from there to 10 feet, 12 feet apart, depending on what you're trying to do.